Hi, welcome. My name is Michelle Montana. This is my interior design YouTube channel. So welcome if you're new here. I just got mail. <laughs> welcome if you're new here. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Really appreciate every single one of you. Today we are talking about a topic that is very important to me. I think it's very important and I had a subscriber request a bunch of things. Thank you so much. This request I thought was something nice and easy for me to address. Basically we're talking about what I would buy secondhand versus buying it from a you know a major manufacturer. I consider myself an, a sustainable interior designer because I do push sustainability and a big way that I push sustainability is through buying vintage or secondhand. The reason that this is an easy push for me is that generally the quality is better when it's vintage or secondhand anyways so it's kind of just a no-brainer to me. For example, I have a client right now who is on the hunt for a Le Corbusier sofa and she found one on a website that she was maybe going to do payment plans or something so that she could just just have it instead of waiting for the right one to come along secondhand. And I did my research on this company and the reviews were awful and it's just really hard to find something brand new that if you're looking for something like that's a vintage style especially I will always say just get it vintage like don't get the remakes mm -hmm. the quality of the vintage version is just going to be so much better and there's a reason why people are remaking them now is because they're trying to make a buck off of this past style and styles are so cyclical we see it in fashion all the time and we see it in our homes and so it's just easier to buy vintage. But there are a few things, there are a few things that I will buy straight from the store. So let's go through the list, shall we? So the first thing uh, I think is <laughs> not that easy to decide. I, I personally would only buy a desk if it's secondhand or if it's custom. So I built these shelves that are behind me and I built them. They're pieces of wood on, you know, the brackets. So it's custom in the sense that I customized the size to fit my space, to fit what I needed. I love my desk. It's my favorite little corner of my home. So, um, you know, we wanted something that was gonna fit our records and fit my big juicy iMac. So yeah, I went with a custom option. I did look for a piece of furniture that I could still build shelves over top of, but I just wasn't finding the right thing. It's so hard to find because it's a nook. I had to find the exact measurements that it was gonna fit in there perfectly. And I just wasn't, I wasn't finding what I was looking for. And I wouldn't buy it. Ooh, I'm getting a phone call. It's Alyssa. Alyssa, look, it's you. Okay. Be right back. Um, okay, it's been like like 20 minutes. I think I was about to talk about why I wouldn't get a new one, but it's really just uh, comes down to quality. I feel like everything furniture wise, especially in the desk realm, is gonna be really cheap and cheaply made, you know, like particle board or whatever, or you're gonna have to pay a lot of money. And if, if that's your budget, go for it. But I think that a couple thousand on a desk, I don't know. I just would personally get a vintage one or a piece of wood. I think this whole project, including TaskRabbit to come install it was like 150. It wasn't that bad. Chairs. So I actually do not own a single chair that is new. All of the chairs in my house are secondhand or vintage or yeah, all of them. So we don't really have a ton of chairs. We have like four chairs 
but still, I mean, my desk chair was $5 at the thrift store. Uh, yeah, definitely prefer vintage chairs style-wise. If you don't like the fabric, you can get it reupholstered. And you'd probably spend the same amount on the chair itself plus the reupholstery as you would getting a new chair that's maybe not as well made. And reupholstery really, I think, ensures the quality because these craftsmen are, well, they're craftsmen. They're really good at what they do. Okay, I kept getting interrupted, but I've made a coffee and I keep fussing with my hair because I blow dried it today and I want it to look the way it did when I first finished blow drying it, but that doesn't happen for me. <clears throat> Sofas. I would honestly do either and I have. I own a new sofa from Anthropology. I probably wouldn't buy one from there again. I, I do think that vintage sofas are more durable and again, you can get them reupholstered. If it's the right shape for you, then I would definitely suggest getting it reupholstered because sometimes you can find a sofa for $50 on Facebook Marketplace and it's just not quite right and you can just get it reupholstered and spend like a thousand dollars like you would on a new sofa instead you have a custom sofa I'm all about custom so I would do either I think it just depends on the person and like what you're looking for my anthropology sofa is like a little bit more trendy of a shape I think that's partially why I like have some regrets about it but I do like it and it, it is a durable fabric. The cats claw at it all the time and you really can't tell. Sorry, I'm like staring at it and not looking at the camera because I'm staring at the sofa while I'm talking about it. And it is very comfortable. I will say it's very comfortable. In Pittsburgh, we have an outlet store if you're not familiar. So uh, we get like half off current styles basically. My sofa was originally I think like 2600 and I think I got it for like 1600 so sofas are an investment and especially if it's something that you're not gonna like in a couple years like I would buy a sofa secondhand and live with the shape for a little bit spend the $50 and see if you like it sometimes like our sofa upstairs was a sofa that I picked out the shape because my sofa, you can't sit like this, okay? I can in this one, but it'd be nice to sit with another person like this. Like we can both sit, put our feet up and look at each other and, um, or even just like snuggle and watch a movie. Like you can't do that down here. Uh, we don't have a TV in this room, so it doesn't really matter, but that's besides the point. So I really wanted something like that. I got on a tangent about sofa shapes basically, but if you bought one secondhand and with the intention to reupholster it, you can live with it for a little bit and make sure you really like it, make sure it's really comfortable, make sure that it's, you know, functions for all that you need it to function for, and then get it reupholstered and spend that money. Lamps. I would do both, personally. I think if you find a cool lamp that's new, great, uh, but I, don't own I own one new lamp and I like the light that it gives off but it's not like my favorite lamp all of my lamps aside from the one are are secondhand and I just prefer them that way you can get really unique stuff I just don't always want what everyone else has I don't have what everyone else has I have a lot of different stuff that's just kind of more my more my style uh coffee table either I think either, but oh, you know what I'm gonna say? Secondhand, <laughs> thrifted, uh, Facebook Marketplace. You can find some really cool ones. Just saying, Chrome is coming in. The amount of times I see Chrome uh, coffee tables on Facebook Marketplace with like a little bit of smoked glass or something. It's, they're so beautiful and what, you pay $100 on there versus like how much are you gonna get it for? I don't mean to like bring up price all the time too. Like it's not just about like getting a good deal. Maybe it is, but it's also about getting something that's like made really well. 
rugs. There's reasons why I am for vintage rugs and there's reasons why I'm for new rugs. So it's definitely a both. I think options like ruggable and things like that are essential if you have messy pets, kids, whatever. I do think that you, you when you're investing in a rug, something like that makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. If you want to buy like a white rug though, I feel like you have to get like a ruggable. Like you have to get something you can wash. I have a white rug in, uh, in our bedroom and it's like trashed and I only got it maybe a year ago. So it's really sad because if I would have known that it was going to get trashed like that. You guys, my tangents are so bad during this topic. I have a vintage white wool rug and I also have a new white rug, not wool, it's polyester probably. And my vintage wool one is in a high traffic zone and my new white one polyester is in my bedroom. The one in my bedroom looks like absolute garbage and the one in my living room I've had for years and it's wool and it's been stained and everything and it looks 20 times better. So I think there is something to be said about maybe wool it doesn't hold on to stains as much. I have no idea, but that's, I don't know, that's all. I don't know if it's because of like the carpet fibers are just different than wool and they pick up on dirt easier than than the wool ones do. I, I don't know that much detail, but I also understand too, if you're allergic to wool, I have a client who's allergic to wool, so we couldn't do a vintage rug in her space. Uh, we had to go with a new rug. So like a vintage Persian rug, they always look really nice if they're trashed or like you don't really care if they get trashed because it kind of doesn't change the look of them. No one's gonna notice if it keeps getting more worn out and more abused, you know? So I, I do think with rugs you can go either way and it's kind of case by case. I'm, I'm for both, I have both. Curtains are probably the one thing I will say that you should probably get new, whether that's buying your own fabric or buying them online. I think that lengths and dimensions and whatever are too difficult to find secondhand um, unless you're shopping for like a dorm or something like that where it kind of doesn't matter. Um, I do think that you should buy them new if you're buying them for like a longevity situation. If you're buying them for your home or you know an apartment that you're really trying to make homey. Um, why do I keep talking like, like Miley Cyrus? I'm going to start talking like this. <laughs> so I would buy them new. I, I think if they work for you, you can get them secondhand. I don't know. For me, it's just, if I'm looking for curtains, I'm looking for something really specific. And I do think that's a more difficult thing to find. So if you want to put, invest the time in doing that, sure. But I probably wouldn't do it. I probably would buy them new and I have, and I do. All my curtains in my house, I've actually just made. Just buy, buying fabric and putting it up. But uh, I had to get specific lengths and everything for it to fit in my space, you know? So it's another custom thing, another custom that I'm willing to invest in. Okay, so light fixtures for above lighting and otherwise above lighting. I am down for a mix. I like vintage ones, obviously. I have vintage ones in my home, but they have new hardware. So the fixture itself is vintage, but the wires um, and like what holds it onto the light bulb are new. And I like this option because old wires dealing with that kind of stuff is scary <laughs> and um, I just wouldn't I wouldn't trust an old wire to not maybe start a fire at some point I don't know it's that's risky so I definitely like vintage fixtures that have been essentially refurbished there's a great place on Etsy that I will link her Etsy store that I've got my fixture here in my living room and the one in my bathroom. I got them both from her and they had new fixtures. 
within them. So um, it's a really good option if you want the vintage, the vintage look without the vintage wires. She she makes them new. Her name is Matilda, and she was lovely. I love Etsy for those things. Dressers with drawers, I would say to get vintage or secondhand. I think that you once again it comes down to quality. The the wood structure, everything is going to be a lot nicer. And a lot of the time, I think dressers and uh, sideboards and things like that, they're they're oftentimes made now to have these like vintage styles and I'm just like buy the vintage one buy the one for $150 on Facebook marketplace instead of the $3,000 one online you know so I definitely am for vintage dressers there are there are ways to make sure that you um, your drawers don't stick I learned on YouTube that you can wax them I just took like a plain unscented candle the side of it and just did that but when it comes to uh, like built-in closet situations like more like wardrobe styles like I love a big vintage wardrobe I think they're beautiful but I also think that modern day wardrobes are a little bit more thinking about who's consuming this item and who's using this item so I do think that you know, if you're buying like a system from Ikea that go for it, absolutely. And that makes total sense. Okay, I just got, uh, I need to wrap this up. So wardrobes, you can go either way. If you're doing the Ikea system, great. If you can make a vintage wardrobe work for you, also great. Hi. Hello. It has been two days. While I was recording last time, I was pulled away. But that's okay. I was like really thinking that I liked my outfit today. It's like a two piece, but I have a slip underneath. And I put this like belt on, but like loose. Um, but the more I look at it, the more I think that Elliot is right and I look like I belong in a cult. So I might return it. <laughs> Tell me if I look culty, you guys. You know what, maybe it's not culty. Maybe it's giving Daisy Jones. Anyways. Um, let's continue. Okay, I think I was about to move on to dining. So for a dining table, I would definitely do either. I think it depends on what you're looking for and what kind of time you have to search for it. If you're down for the long haul, long haul, I definitely think that finding something vintage would be excellent. Like I personally, in my next home whichever if i were to have a dining space i would love to have um it be like my only real like burl wood set and i would love to have um a very minimal i probably try to find a photo minimal dining table that can have several leaves in it but that's like maybe kind of more uh chunky lean leaning on the square side of a rectangle for kind of every day but then be able to open it up for when guests are over. I definitely like, I like sort of a smaller intimate table for like every day. Like I like just a smaller table. So I guess when guests are over and stuff it's nice to have the option to extend it open for as many people as you would like. Yeah I think that that would be more difficult to find vintage and maybe I would have to find it new. But I know I'm a broken record. When they're when they're vintage, they're better quality. They just are. So I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again for each category. So I'm gonna try to stop doing that. Okay, here's a here's a rare one for your bed frame and of course your mattress. I think you should buy them new. Now, <laughs> for me, it's like a vibes thing. As much as I would love some sort of like really beautiful like mid-century modern uh, bed situation, I just can't do it. I don't know. It's just a weird vibes thing for me where I'm just like, I can't have a bed that someone else... No. I can't do it. For me, I would go new. But for other people, if you don't care, do what you want.
Okay, for a mirror, I think it depends. I would definitely go both. I think like the big Ikea mirrors are a great price and they're nicely made and they're accessible, right? I have one, but I also think that if you wanted something that's like gold and ornate, I wouldn't buy a new one. Like I wouldn't buy the anthropology mirror or something like that. If you want something a little bit different and a little bit more eccentric, I would hold out for a vintage one because I just think when you're going with the gold ornate, it's so easy to look like everybody else when you're buying something like that because it obviously is a specific look and I just think it would be cuter if the one that you got was not like anybody else's. That's just my opinion. But I would do either. And also the gold in the new ones are such a cheap gold color. Like it's really hard to find new gold mirrors that don't look like cheap. Here's the last thing I'm gonna leave you on. Small stools. It's such a like random thing to need, but I have two in my home. And um, I will always buy them vintage secondhand. I think that, of course, there's quality. I'm gonna say it 75 million times, but they're just so much more interesting, the ones that I have, versus ones that you can buy new. Like, you could go to Zara Home and get um, their stool, but they have like a little one on there that I think is like really affordable. Their prices jump. It's like there's like a small $35 one and then it goes up to like $149 or something for the next like a bigger size. And it says not recommended for like standing or sitting on. The whole reason you buy like a little stool like that Maybe that's not true. Maybe a lot of people will buy them for like a little side table or something, which is fine too. But um, I think that most people, if you're buying a stool, there's a, there's a function element. At least like I have one in my bathroom that, yes, it looks really nice and that's why I wanted it there. But also I can't reach up on the top shelf of my bathroom. So that's why the stool is there. It's, it's decorated until like I need it to be something that serves a purpose and you can't do that with the newer made ones or at least it's not recommend recommended that you do so I wouldn't trust that I think they're also trying to like legally save their own butts like well we told you not to sit on it or we told you not to stand on it so it's your fault that you got hurt even though theoretically you probably could I don't know whatever I would go vintage so moral of the story is buy most things vintage <laughs> It's more sustainable, better quality. I know it's hard to like hunt for things, but that's also part of the fun of furnishing your home is to like take your time and curate it. Because I think that when you're spending your time buying things like, you know, sometimes you have to buy some like a placeholder until you find something a little bit nicer. I like the sort of slow curated style personally. And I'm assuming that if you're here right now, you do too, that you have a similar style to mine. So that's all for this video. I'm gonna insert a pic of my outfit and you guys can tell me if I look like I belong in a cult or if it's chic and it's giving Daisy Jones and the six. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your interactions. Oh, I shouldn't do prayer hands with this outfit. <laughs> Thank you for all of your interactions with this channel. It makes my day, it makes my day whenever people subscribe or like or comment, all of the above. Let me know any other things you guys want me to do for this channel because it does really help a lot when people suggest things that they wanna see. I definitely take them into consideration. Let me know if you wanna do a spin on this and like, you know, I've, I've seen other people do things like this, like what I would buy from Ikea or Target or whatever. But I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. Thanks again. I love you so much. Goodbye. Bonus footage. Let's try these. This is what I imagined originally.
might be too tall. I don't know. Let's try. Ooh. That might be the winner. These are like a cloth, <laughs> like a cloth boot from Nanushka. I got them a couple years ago. And they're like an olive green. I definitely like these, but I just want to see. Without socks. My Mista clogs. No. I just try to wear these with so many things and it just isn't a vibe. They just look like duck. Duck feet? I don't know. I shouldn't have bought them. I was in London and there was a sample sale. So I went a little crazy. Yeah, I think these are the win. Maybe if my hair was like up, I wouldn't feel so culty. It's like a little bit more. Wait, I still have my tag on. <laughs> but the pony might be, or just up in general, might be a little more something. Okay. Bye.